Hey guys, what's happening? So, I wanted to uh, start dialing in the pressure advance on the Celebrius printer here. Uh, I made several videos about this one. Um, I probably haven't uploaded this video yet, but my new extruder system called the Botamus Maximus. Yeah, I don't think I've uploaded that video yet, but... Um, one of the things I want to do is I guess, dial in the pressure advance and the retraction. And this white PTFE tube is 2 millimeter diameter. And I'm hoping to be able to re alleviate some of that slack, you know, and uh, dial the traction a little bit better. So, um, I got some new PTFE tube. It's black in color. Um, but it's supposed to be 1.9 millimeter. It wasn't expensive. I got it on Amazon. Put a link down below. Um, put this in that light. Couldn't see it. But it's supposed to be 1.9 millimeter in inside diameter ID, and I'm gonna grab a little pest piece of filament here and see if it how it feels. All right, so here is the bone tip I took off. This is two millimeter inside diameter. So what I'm gonna do is actually the outside diameter looks smaller too. I mean, just by looking at it, the outside diameter looks small, smaller. Okay, just want to make sure it can fit with the uh, coupler. So yeah, the outside diameter does feel smaller too than your typical stuff. All right, so let me cut off an exact same piece that I have here. Let me get that out here and measure it. Yeah, I can just visually see that it's, it's smaller in diameter. Yeah, these things are great. I'll put a link down below. These things are awesome for cutting tubes. Actually, I got these as a Christmas present a long time ago. Um, but they're like a razor blade on one side. But for cutting tubes, these things are insane. You know, flat edges, hoses, that kind of stuff. All right, so I'm gonna go put this back on the back on the printer. But actually, before I do that, show you. you can obviously see that it's a lot. I mean, I can just—I don't even have to measure with my calipers. I mean, this thing, I can just feel it's a lot tighter. Like this one, you can totally feel. Um, I mean, you can feel like there's almost like slack in the tube, you know, a little bit. You can feel it. So, so I'm going to do a pressure advance uh, test tower. And I'm going to put it back again. And we'll see if, uh, like I said, I didn't really want to dial it in 100% until I knew, because I knew I was going to get better PTFE tubing. Um, one of the downsides, too, about with the, the black stuff is you can't see it. Even with the blue stuff, too, right? The Capricorn tube or whatever they call it. Um, you can't see you're pushing your thumb through, but I don't. This will, this will go with the black theme of the printer too. So, all right. So when I designed the Botanus Maximus, I designed it to be clocked at a 45 degree angle, but you can clock it at all different angles, um, all different degrees, and you can mount it in all different positions. But I have a video more detail on me designing it. Um, but what I'm trying to do is minimize the length of the tube, but not put too much strain and tension on it. Um, a lot of the guys are they're mounted back here at 90, up 90, so you have to create a longer tube. So that's actually why it's mounted higher and 45 degree angle, so I can minimize the length of tube and not put too much strain on it. Plus, I think that black tube is, looks pretty good, better than the white tube. I mean, there is some, I mean, I, you can't see the filament going through it, but that's a short run. It's not like going through like a Verone, uh, Verone 2.4, like one of those crazy long, uh, going through the cable chain or something. I'm going to do, uh, go into Orca Slicer and create a pressure advance tower. You know what's funny about this printer is when you print slow to it, it makes a lot of noise. But when you print fast, it doesn't make any noise at all. So there's some sort of like speed or it creates like it enhances uh, resonance or something. Alright, so I'm in the pressure tower right now. But yeah, you know, that vibration is just going to translate right into your parts. Yeah, when I'm doing 120 millimeters a second, it totally goes away. Oh, I'm going like three or four hundred millimeters per second. All right, we'll wait till this is done. I'll come back. It's possible I have a bad burn. It's right back here. It's always this one that's making all the noise. All right, let's take a second look at that light over here. So the best is probably right. Got to measure it. I would say somewhere like right in here. It's so a halfway. 
So it was testing between zero, and that's pretty much what I have the pressure advance at right now. I have it at 0.4. With a bone tube, you have to do a lot more pressure advance. Um, but see all those ridges in there, you know? All that vibration. All that vibration just translates right in your part. So uh, that needs to be solved first. You can just see where it gets kind of things. So yeah, I would say, like, you know, maybe 0.5. It, so it, it, it tested from 0 to 1, right? 0 to 1 millimeter. So I can just tell if it's it, it below, it's about 4. It's kind of where I have it now, 0.4. So mine, I, I've already done some calibration, but it's point, well, at least with the other Bowden tube, it was 0.3 to 0.4. But yeah, I gotta figure out what's up with that one ball bearing. That one ball bearing in the back makes all that noise. Um, but let me show you an example. What I was saying is that when I print this thing fast, it prints a lot better. So, so there's some sort of like vibration at a lower speed. It like enhances uh, the, what's it called? Not the vibration, but the uh, resonance, you know? It enhances like the, the vibration. So when I'm printing faster, it prints a lot better, but there's still, it still kind of bugs me. I mean, it's, it's dramatically better, and that's a 120 mil, uh, maybe 240, I can't remember, like 240 millimeters per second, I think. When I don't get that vibration, it's dramatically better. So, all right, so I was pretty much dialed in, I think. All right, so uh, we'll play with that. Do some more tests, and all right, so. I mean, I think anything helps. I mean, it's like all these little things I'm doing are actually helping, so. I'll just one. All right, guys, cool. Just messing around, having fun.